Who doesn't like succulents? Succulents are pretty. In today's video, I'm going to share a secret with you. Do you know you can propagate all these beautiful succulents from cuttings? Welcome everyone. I'm Chetna from Get My Harvest. But before we dive in, I want to tell you that I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon because only then you would get notified on my new videos. Let us understand how to take the cutting um, for propagation of a succulent. You have to look for leaves that are towards the end of the plant and not on the top of the plant. So there, here you need to find a leaf that looks weak, a little weak or is at the bottom part and then give it a little twist and you will see that it comes off. You have to make sure that the leaf doesn't um, get damaged when you're twisting or you're not pulling the entire plant out. After you have taken the leaf or the cutting from your succulent, you have to make sure that you keep this aside for healing or developing a callus and this might take from 3 days to a week's time. You've got to stay with me till the end because I'm going to share the entire process of growing these beautiful succulents from cuttings. You need to take a tray like this and uh, make sure that it has a drainage hole here in order to start your propagation process. Take coco peat in the tray with the drainage hole and then add some water to it. You will see that the blocks will start expanding. After adding water to the coco peat, and once it has expanded, make sure that um, you arrange it in a uniform layer in this tray. Now take the cuttings that have healed and start arranging them um, on your cocoa peat. I usually arrange them in a pattern, but you can just put them and um, it will do. When you put the cutting, make sure you press it a little bit in the cocoa peat. And just keep pressing like that. Make sure you do not use cuttings like these. These are rotten ones. You cannot propagate from these. The succulent cuttings or baby uh, succulents require more water than the adult succulents. So you should use a sprayer like this to water on the tray with the cuttings. Your tray will look like this in around 4 weeks. I started these cuttings 4 weeks back and you can see that uh, I have been able to get some tiny succulents. Even this one here, it has uh, baby succulents. This is the Echeveria species and there are some other very tiny ones here. You do not have to worry, all your cuttings will not um, propagate very easily. Some of them can dry. And some of them will give you a baby succulent and then get dried. For instance, this one here was another cutting. It got dried, but then um, there is a, a miniature succulent here. So once you get these, you do not uh, have to spray with a sprayer. You have to use a syringe. So once your succulent tray reaches this stage, you have to use a syringe. I use a syringe like this and then try watering under the succulents 
now the watering has to be more targeted in nature and you can't just spray with a sprayer even if you think a cutting has dried it might still give you a succulent so keep watering uh, that area and if you spot any roots for instance this one has roots here so try to water the roots area if you sprinkle or spray water on top of these baby succulents they will die if they don't die they might develop white spots on them you will notice that all the succulent cuttings grow at a different pace even if you start them at the same time this one for instance um, is ready to get transplanted to a bigger container or a pot but there are some others that are still small so when you plan to transplant you make sure that you add um, succulent uh, potting mix to your pots or containers a su succulent or cactus soil mix contains perlite coco peat and river sand in equal proportions so if you can't access a ready made uh, succulent and cactus potting mix you can also make your own potting mix with these three ingredients so let's transplant uh, i think this cutting is big enough let's try to put this here i'm still using a small pot because i want to nurture this a bit more carefully and this one here can grow in this 